Hello guys, so here's a quick tutorial on how to create this effect. So it's done in geometry nodes, you can see uh, I have very few nodes here and the result looks like that. It's basically just to use, I'm using it for audio or something like that. So let's get started. Delete everything and add a new plane here. And hit tab into edit mode, scale it up just like that. And subdivide it and hit shift R to repeat the subdivision. And I'm gonna have subdivisions like that. After that, I'm gonna create a new geometry node and rename it to the add a wave texture here and then I'm going to add a set position node and after that I'm going to uh, connect the color to the offset here you can see it doesn't look very good right there but you have to do some vector maths here to make it work I'm going to make it multiply and the vector can be here a normal I'm going to hit shift add to add a combine xyz node and connect the vector to the z axis so that we only get the effect on the z axis so I'm going to duplicate this multiply node here not this shift D to duplicate it and make it subtract subtract 1 here I think it's negative 1 and then I'm going to make it rings from bands and from x to spherical so we can see it's uh, doing something but it's not correct so I'm gonna bring the scale down just something like that yep that's good and after that I'm gonna bring the detail down to zero and if we play with the offset here it uh, works like that now then I'm gonna scale this plane just a little bit more and subdivide it now that's really good I'm gonna bring the scale down just like that and give it some distortion so that uh, now we created the waves here now I'm gonna control the intensity of effects on the edges and the middle add a um, vector map and set it to scale now I'm gonna add a geometry proximity here because I think that's the easiest way to do this and then I'm gonna add an icosphere here you can preview this icosphere with all chef and bring it the subdivisions up and give it some low radius just like that now preview this last node here you can see it looks very weird right now but we're gonna fix it so add a map range here and after the map range we're gonna play around with the values and see what works for us bring down this just like that I think also bring down the 2 makes value just like that we don't need it too high we're just going for a simple effect here um, bring down the radius of this or bring it up yeah, this is good now I'm gonna make this map range from linear to smooth step I think that works bring this down just a little bit and you can see we flatten the middle uh, of this thing it's still if I bring down the radius here like that bring down the radius to something like 0.4 and I'm gonna do the same for these edges so add a math node here and set it to multiply 
and then duplicate this map range and connect the distance to the value first I'm gonna just screw it and connect it to the scale right there so that we can see what we are doing and bring it up just like that you know connect it to the multiply node and brew the whole I think connect the multiply to the scale there yes but now I'm gonna bring this to max value up a little bit and for this one too now to animate it I'm gonna give it a scene time node here and play it it goes in the wrong direction so I'm gonna add a map node and multiply it with a negative number like my negative 3 so it goes a little bit fast and on the right direction and one thing you can you can keyframe this and use some music to control this animation just like that but I don't like it so we generated the waves here you can put any product in there and give it some environment as you want your scene to be so I'm gonna add a instance on points node here and for the instance I'm gonna add an icosphere you can see it's very big so I'm gonna bring the radius down just like that and subdivisions can be two now connect this math node here to the scale but I'm gonna add a math node to bring it up a little bit so from add to multiply and bring it up just like that and play it by the way I think our plane is very big right there I'm gonna hit F3 to unsubdivide it one time and then scale it down just a little bit you can just decide whatever works for you but I thought my one, my one was looking a little bit bad so you may need to play around with the map range a little bit to make it perfect just like that scale it up and do whatever works the best for you yep that's good bring up this multiply a little bit and that's looking good and after that I'm gonna add another multiply node and connect this wave texture factor to the multiply here you can see it's doing something but uh, I don't like it so I'm gonna add another map range in between there from the factor to the multiply and I'm gonna bring this value down just like that so it's a lot smoother now I'm gonna bring this from minimum value to negative 5 and to minimum to point and 1.3 for the maximum value and I'll play it and you can see it it works it looks very good always play with the values the distortions etc to get what you want and that's it for the effect now if you want to do some shading here I'm gonna add a set material node and select your material that's it for the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.